What caused the Rajkot Games on Fire? High Court has declared the massive fire that broke out at a game zone in Rajkot on May 25 as a man-made disaster. The blaze was reportedly triggered by welding work happening on the first floor of the TRP game zone. The High Court highlighted that the gaming zone took advantage of the loopholes in the Gujarat Comprehensive General Development Control Regulations, or GDCR. It was noted that the TRP game zone in Rajkot was built on temporary structures to avoid the hassle of obtaining necessary permissions, including the Fire No Objection Certificate and construction approval. As a result, five officials, including two police inspectors and civic staff, have been suspended by the Gujarat government for gross negligence in allowing the game zone to operate without the required approvals. The court also mentioned that many similar game zones in Ahmedabad pose a significant threat to public safety, especially to innocent children. Reports indicate that the fire intensified when sparks from a welding machine landed on highly inflammable materials like petrol, fibres and fibreglass sheets. However, the exact cause of the fire is still under investigation. Tragically, the blaze claimed the lives of at least 27 people, including four children. The Rajkot Taluka police have charged six individuals, including the owner and manager of the game zone, with culpable homicide not amounting to murder. The gaming zone is owned by a person called Yuvraj Singh Solanki. Uh, we are, will be registering an offence for negligence uh, and the uh, deaths which have occurred. The owner, Yuvraj Singh Solanki, and manager Nitin Jain are among those arrested. Meanwhile, a special investigation team has launched a probe into the incident, led by Subhash Trivedi, Additional Director General of Police CID Crime. The SIT has been tasked with delivering its primary report within three days.